Tornado warning. Tornado warning. nautical miles southwest of Montrose Harbor, moving northeast at 25 knots. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. for northeastern Illinois, northwestern Indiana, and the adjacent waters of Lake Michigan. Mariners can expect gusty winds to around 30 knots, locally higher waves, and lightning strikes. Boaters should seek safe harbor immediately until the storm passes. This a strong thunderstorm will likely produce winds to around 30 knots and could pose a serious hazard for boaters. A special marine warning may eventually be required when this storm reaches the near shore waters. Boaters should consider heading for shore before the storm The following is a flood advisory from the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued urban and small stream flood advisory for Kendall County in northeastern Illinois, northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, southern Kane County in northeastern Illinois, DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, south central Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 4 p.m. At 2 p.m., Doppler radar indicated heavy rain due to a severe thunderstorm. One to two inches of rain will be possible in under one hour with this storm. This will cause urban and small stream flooding in the advisory area. Some locations that will experience flooding include Aurora, Joliet, Naperville, Bolingbrook, <coughs> Orland Park, Tinley Park, Oak Lawn, Wheaton, Downers Grove, Elmhurst, Lombard, Carroll Stream, Romeoville, Plainfield, Addison, St. Charles, Oswego, Glen Ellen, West Chicago, and Batavia. This is NOAA Weather Radio, KWO39 Chicago. Severe weather is occurring or forecast to occur in our listening area. This station will broadcast severe weather alarm tones for Southern Lake Michigan, Lake, DuPage and Cook counties in Illinois, as well as Lake and Porter counties in Indiana. Standard broadcasts will be curtailed to bring you the latest severe weather information. The current time is 2.12 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, southeastern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 2.45 p.m. At 2.06 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Romeoville, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and hail up to 2 inches in diameter. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Bolingbrook, Romeoville, Lockport, and New Lenox around 2.15 p.m. Lamont and Goodings Grove around 2.20 p.m. Palmer Glen around 2.25 p.m. Orland Park around 2.30 p.m. Finley Park, Worth, Palos Hills and Hickory Hills around 2.35 p.m. Oak Lawn, Altip, Madison, Midlothian, Olympia Fields, Oak Forest, Chicago Ridge and Crestwood around 2.40 p.m. Calumet City, Chicago Heights, Blue Island, Dalton, Chatham, Flossmere, Posen, Burnham, Harvey and South Holland around 2.40 Chicago has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Cook County in northeastern Illinois until 3.15 p.m. At 2.12 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Woodridge or near Bolingbrook, moving east at 35 miles per hour. The storm has a history of producing large hail and wind damage. Hazard, ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Chicago, Cicero, Oak Lawn, Berwyn, Oak Park, Maywood, Brookfield, Franklin Park, Hinsdale, Westchester, Love Range, Forest Park, Justice, River Forest, Summit, Lyons, Burridge, Riverside, Stickney and 
Willow Springs, including the following interstates. Interstate 55 between mile markers 277 and 294. Interstate 88 near mile marker 140. Interstate 94 between mile markers 45 and 62. Interstate 290 between mile markers 16 and 29. Interstate 294 between mile markers 45 and 62. This includes Brookfield Zoo, Lincoln Park Zoo, Toyota Park, Triton College, University of Chicago, Hawthorne Park, Soldier Field, University of Illinois Chicago, US Cellular Field, Illinois Institute of Technology, Wrigley Field, The Loop, Museum of Science and Industry, Museum Campus, and Northerly Island. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. for Northeastern Illinois. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. So we are under a tornado watch until 9 o'clock, and this guy does look nasty. It's all kinds of like severe thunderstorm warnings out as of right now. Visual in. <coughs> but yeah, we got a bunch of tornado watches. Um, we're under an enhanced risk for so, uh, severe weather, which is pretty high actually. So, and now it's raining. see on the ground it's raining so far nothing severe yet but the cell over here looks kind of nasty so just gonna have to pay attention to the weather definitely 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 Good. Not too bad though, as of right now. But that could all change though too, so that's the whole thing, so we'll see what happens. rotation over the Lamont area so if you're in Lamont right now heading off towards the east that's where that circulation is still showing signs of tightening up. I also us. got a report too of uh, at least dime size hail being reported at I-355 and 143rd Street so there is some hail coming down with this and right up there that northern flank where you see the darker shades of purple that's where we're seeing some larger hail coming down with this particular storm so again we want to go in as close as possible and highlight this rotation center so this is right over homer glen right now over the lamont area this is right over uh basically uh 355 right now and then pushing off towards the east so you folks over here in lamont homer glen over towards say palos park orland park orland hills palos hills worth palos heights you need to be taking your tornado precautions right now and getting into that safe room and letting this storm pass by it's a really really dangerous storm you know we've got reports of hail up to two inches in diameter from this storm i've also seen several reports of winds gusting to 60 to even 70 miles per hour uh just got a report on the northern flank of this storm too which is up here in dupage county uh right in this core right here even stretching up towards a burr ridge and even up towards downers grove and westmont uh the 
rainfall rate was about five and a half inches per hour up in this area of the storm. And that was measured up in the Westmont area, just north of downtown Westmont. So intense rainfall. We're seeing street flooding from this storm here in southern DuPage County. Probably some high winds, too, maybe some small hail. There's that hail core, but right there is where that circulation is at its worst with this particular storm. We'll switch over to velocity data. It's a little muddied right now, but there is some signs of circulation right in this general area over Lamont, heading over towards Homer, and then pushing over towards the Orland Park area. Uh, the, uh, the hail size, as Phil was talking about, has just been tremendous. You know, with these supercell thunderstorms, you get a lot of air that's rising up into the sky, and that air, as it rises faster, can keep those hailstones up in the sky long enough where they get really large until they eventually fall, fall down to the ground. If you're talking about baseball-sized hail uh, with a storm, that means that the air is going up into the sky over 100 miles per hour. That's how fast the wind has to be to keep a baseball-sized hailstone up in the sky. And that's likely what we're seeing with this storm here up around the Bolingbrook area right now and then heading over towards Hastings and then uh, just north of Homer Glen and north of Orland Park is where the core that hail is located. You can kind of see it back over Bolingbrook. It's actually probably about right here right now. So that's just uh, getting closer here uh, to 83 and uh, 171 here as you make your way off towards the east from where this storm is located. We'll go back to the reflectivity mode. So this is one of our radars that we have access to. I like our radar better. Let's go back to that because it really shows that circulation pretty clearly here. Uh, and what we're watching is with that circulation moving over Homer Glen right now and then spread, spreading off towards the east. And looking at those latest scans, it does appear that maybe we're seeing that rotation kind of weaken a little bit. Just by looking at the latest presentation here on the radar, uh, there isn't that tight of a circulation, at least at the moment. We'll see if it tries to sp The following interstates. Interstate 57 between mile markers 341 and 358. Interstate 80 between mile markers 150 and 155. Interstate 94 between mile markers 60 and 74. Interstate 294 between mile markers 60 and 74. Indiana Interstate 80 between mile markers 1 and 15. Indiana Interstate 90 between mile markers 1 and 21. Indiana Interstate 94 near mile marker 16. Indiana Interstate 65 between mile markers 252 and 261. This includes Indiana University Northwest, Purdue University Calumet, Windy City Thunderbolt Baseball, First Midwest Bank Amphitheater, Ileana Motor Speedway, Lorraine Valley Community College, Prairie State College, South Shore Rail Just west of I-39. Just west of I-39, Indiana Interstate 80 between mile markers 1 and 30. The following is a special marine warning from the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a special marine warning for Burns Harbor to Michigan City, Indiana, Calumet Harbor, Illinois to Gary, Indiana, Gary to Burns Harbor, Indiana, Lake Michigan from Wilmette Harbor to Michigan City, Indiana, five nautical miles offshore to Mid Lake, Lake Michigan from Windsor so, Harbor to Wilmette Harbor, now. Illinois, five nautical miles offshore to Mid Lake, Northerly Island to Calumet Harbor, Illinois, Wilmette Harbor to Northerly Island, Illinois, Windsor Harbor to Wilmette Harbor, Illinois, near shore waters from Windsor Harbor to Michigan City, open waters from Windsor Harbor to Michigan Michigan City out to Mid Lake until 4 p.m. At 1.54 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 33 nautical miles southwest of Montrose Harbor, moving east at 30 knots. We are under a severe thunderstorm warning. I don't know if they're going to issue a tornado warning, but that tornado warning was very close. And they were talking about possible spin ups and stuff like that, so. The wind's picked up too, so. You see, the wind is now actually picked up. Never talk a wind gust up to 
75 miles an hour. But if you could look, I mean, like looking, it looks nasty, to say the least. And we're on our tornado watch until 9 p.m. I haven't seen any lightning yet, but there we go, flash of light. Just looking back towards East Chicago. But yeah. Interesting to say the least. It's gonna have to be bothered in the weather for a while. Because they're talking about more cells are gonna develop. Depending on what happens. Uh, raindrop. I'm gonna try to walk back now before I get be close to some shots that gonna start to rain now. Just case it's one for me. It's, they were talking about it. Yeah. Well, or not, it is. We'll see, but it looks nasty. Or a severe thunderstorm warning. Like they got tornado things. watches out too. <coughs> that wind is picking up. Yeah, you can see just how dark it is. How much darker it's getting. Definitely watching out there, so It's not a big key thing, is be careful. Clouds look. So. Yeah. So what we're looking at, this is what it's like out now. Watch and see what happens. As of, like I said, as of right now, <clears throat> we are under this warning. So it depends on if we get what we get. Out here now. And if you guys could see the hail. Let's actually start at the hail. Well, 
actually have hail now. And this is, looks honestly nasty out here too. So yeah, you can see we got hell all over the place. Crazy out here. This is just crazy. We have hell. winds but we are getting we are getting hail out of this see right there this guy looks like that right now and it looks really nasty Yeah, you can see it's it's no high winds yet, but we have had hail, and it's actually still hailing out there. So the hail is still coming down. More hail. Chicago. Man, we have had hell. I don't know if there's any rotation or anything, but yeah. It's crazy, I'll tell you that. This guy is crazy looking. This is just crazy looking the way the sky is. So I don't know if this is all of it though either, so but yeah. It's just raining out here now. It's a little windy, but not like. You know, one gust here and there. was healing earlier. <clears throat>
this bus is supposedly get more sounds coming through, so let's see what happens.
so as it moved through northwest Indiana. And right there between Chesterton and New Durham is where this circulation is being picked up on the radar. So if you're in Chesterton, New Durham, even over towards Michigan City, Dune Acres along 12, along 94 here. It's on the other side Indiana, of us, not close by. Tornado precautions right now. This is a, a radar indicated tornado right here in northern. What it looks like now. Heavy rain. storm here moving towards Chicago Heights with the potential for some very large hail. In fact, on the hail detection mode, look at that. Now, when you see these uh, yellows and greens, that's indicating hail sizes up around one to two inches in diameter. So those are some pretty large hailstones falling with that particular storm. And that's getting very close to Creek and Chicago Heights right now. And Madison. I used to live in Chicago Heights, so... You could get some very large hail and also some very high winds. So just to kind of reset ourselves right now, we've got the tornado warning over in northern Porter County and for LaPorte County. A couple of storms out here to the west we're still watching. That tornado warning looks like it might be uh, canceled before it moves off into DeKalb County, so that's a good sign. But we're also watching those big storms down to the south as well. We'll go back into this one storm here heading toward Madison right now. Again, a high wind threat right now. Uh, with this particular storm, I'm getting a report right now from Sublet of a rapidly rotating wall cloud. Oh, wow. Very low to the ground. That's one of the spotter reports I'm getting at this time uh, with this storm right here. Uh, let's see. And, Certainly uh, has turned out to be an active day, that's for sure. Spotters on the ground out here with this particular storm. The other storm here that's over into Laporte County. Wind 74. Interstate 2, 94, between mile markers 72 and 74. Indiana Interstate 80 between mile markers 1 and 15. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are out of... The tornado warning for Northeastern Porter County has expired. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been allowed to expire. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. for northwestern Indiana. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 4.30 p.m. for northern Porter County. At 3.47 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Burns Harbor, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roof, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roof, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Portage, Valparaiso, Chesterton, Porter, Burns Harbor, South Haven, Wheeler, Ogden Dunes, Town of Pines, Beverly Shores, and Dune Acres. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. for northwestern Indiana. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The tornado warning for northeastern Porter County has expired. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning has been allowed to expire. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. for northwestern Indiana. The following is a marine weather statement from the National Weather Service. A strong thunderstorm approaching the waters. The areas affected include nearshore waters from Winter Harbor to Burns Harbor, open waters from Winter Harbor to Michigan City out to Mid Lake. At 1.26 p.m., Doppler radar indicated a developing thunderstorm from DeKalb to Joliet. These storms are continuing to intensify, and a special marine warning may be needed. This thunderstorm was located 45 nautical miles. One off. So I'm looking at this now. That's what it looks like outside as of right now. Um, but yeah, our 
Tornado sirens went off. We are under a tornado warning. So I'm kind of looking. The clouds do look kind of weird too. So. And I mean, they look extremely weird. Some of the tornado sirens are going off. Uh, you probably, probably can faintly hear it, but. Um, this is kind of a situation going on. Oh, there you go. But yeah, that's what's we're looking at as of right now. Yeah, so we are under a tornado warning. So <clears throat> You hear the every once in a while you'll hear the tornado sirens going off. That's what it looks like right now, as of right now. Uh, we are under a tornado warning. Which is rare for us, really. We're gonna have to just keep watching the water. where we're most concerned about tornadoes, high winds, and large hail. And then, of course, here in northwest Indiana and southern Cook County. We'll yeah, we're our directly under that warning. Storm that's moving up through Worth and heading up towards, uh, say, Burr Ridge area right now. This one is, again, trying to show a little bit of rotation, but it's moving into somewhat of a more stable atmosphere. So I'm hoping that one doesn't intensify anymore, but it's something we'll keep an eye on with that particular storm. So, again, the tornado warning in effect here for northern Lake County and right along the state line that's where that rotation is really showing up pretty clearly on the radar Phil yeah and that tornado warning is still in effect for another half hour until five o'clock and you can see it does include Actually, much of uh, the southeast part of Cook County though the threat right now appears to be more in northern Lake County over in northwest Indiana that's where the heart of the storm is getting very close to the Dyer area just south of Hammond this is uh, I-30 right here and you can see or 34 and you can see that that's where the heaviest of the storm is. Uh, plenty of lightning with the storm as well. And we are continuing to see rotation. The strongest signal of rotation is just now St. John as well. And we take a three-dimensional look at this, and you can see the tops of these storms up around pushing over at times to 40,000 feet. That is the cell that is right now very close to the dire area. You can see we have several other warnings in the area. One tornado warning just for a sliver of the northeast corner of LaSalle County. This likely will be extended into the southern parts of DeKalb County here very shortly. That's in effect until 445 and just to the west 
of, uh, of Livingston County, we have another tornado warning system. And look at all the lightning with that. That will move into Livingston County, affecting areas around Pontiac and Dwight, and eventually moving into the southern parts of our area. There are numerous more storms developing up around Naperville and beginning to spread into the western parts of Cook County, but those, at least not right now, are not severe. So, so you have a tornado on the ground, Larry. Can you tell me where? Reporting a tornado on the ground near the Illinois-Indiana border right there, okay. uh, east of Sock Village, just west of Dyer. So the spotters are reporting oh, wow, there's there's a, tornado a tornado on the ground. On the ground with a rapidly rotating wall cloud. So we've been talking about it on the radar. That's the first confirmed report we have of a tornado on the ground. Don't know exactly uh, if it's done any damage yet, but they're saying it's really close right now to the Illinois-Indiana border, uh, east of Sock Village, and just west of Dyer. So right in this general zone, which we've been talking about, is where this uh, is rotating and has at least briefly touched down. Uh, latest report now I'm getting is near Calumet Avenue and US 30 intersection, a rotating wall cloud at this moment. Uh, it looks like it may have gone back up into the sky, but at least for a brief while it was reported on the ground uh, near that Illinois and Indiana border. Uh, and so right in this spot. Tornado sirens are going off again. at the clouds as of right now. Our tornado sirens are going off. Which is rare. I'm outside and this is what it's looking like as of right now. Targeting the sirens had a little going off. It's humid out here, that's for sure. It is kind of humid. But yeah, our tornado sirens were going off. This is absolutely crazy. It's been a crazy day. And it's very rare for us to get under a tornado warning too, so this is a rare event. But uh, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now this is looking towards like if you were to go to like the East Chicago and stuff like that. So but yeah, as of right now, this is. What we're looking at as of right now. It did hail earlier with that first storm, that first line that went through. It was hailing, it was like dime size hail or pea size hail. So, but as of right now, this is what it's looking like. Looking towards Chicago, which would be in the direction of Chicago. And it still looks nasty over that way. It's been crazy. That is for damn sure. So, this is what it looks like right now.
Hopefully, see what happens. I doubt we're gonna get a tornado, but anything is possible. And like I said, our tornado sirens were going off. We are under a tornado warning until five o'clock, I believe. So, just kind of watching this to see what happens. So the tornado sirens have started to go off again. Yeah, <clears throat> I believe that is like the third time our tornado, the tornado cybers have gone off. So, it's kind of nasty, getting a little nastier looking. I don't know if that's East Chicago's weather sirens, tornado sirens going off, or if it is ours going off, but I have a feeling that's ours. Like I said, we are in our tornado. Kind of looking to see if I see anything weird. That would indicate a tornado. Sirens have gone up multiple times. So. Monitoring. Just in case. Just in case. Somebody shut off the firework. They startled me. But yeah, I'm looking. It's looking toward now, kind of nasty towards East Chicago. There's East Chicago as of right now. You see the clouds. I kind of zoomed it in so you can see. But yeah, I mean, like I said, our our tornado sirens have gone off multiple times. I don't really think anything. So. Very well, 
large hail to come down at this point. So uh, you might be see, experiencing some very high winds from have... Lake Station down towards Hobart, but that to the south us. right now is where the rotation is, and that's moving right over Merrillville as we speak. Uh, we're looking at these storms uh, moving off towards the east right now. The other storm that was back here in LaPorte County has now moved over towards South Bend. Uh, that one is now moving out of LaPorte County, but this stretch of storms that extends from around LaPorte back towards Merrillville and Hobart right now, that's moving off to the east, and you folks in Porter County, you're going to get it again from this particular storm. Yeah, I think that's south moved off. And these additional thunderstorms that are back here to the west, this area here, south of Joliet, Kankakee, Watsika, Rensselaer, DeMont, you're in the spot where the most likely uh, threat of severe weather will continue over the next several hours as these lines of storms out to the west march across our area. Up here in Chicago, that big storm, although it was a nasty storm and it's really been a horrible storm, it has kind of stabilized the atmosphere up here across Cook County and DuPage County. So we've got storms coming through, but the intensity of those storms is not what we're seeing down here to the south where the air is a little bit warmer and a little bit more unstable from the heating up of the day. So, Phil, we're watching. A tornado warning for Porter County in northwestern Indiana, northeastern Lake County in northwestern Indiana, until 5.45 p.m. At 4.52 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Merrillville, moving east at 25 miles per hour. The storm produced a tornado earlier near Dyer. Another thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located three miles north of Valparaiso and moving to the northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Lake Station, Lakes of the Four Seasons and New Chicago around 4.55 p.m. Hobart and Wheeler around 5.05 p.m. Ogden Dunes around 5.10 p.m. Portage, Burns Harbor, South Haven and Lincoln Hills around 5.15 p.m. Valparaiso and Chesterton around 5.20 p.m. Porter and KVPZ around 5.25 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Dune Acres. This includes Indiana University Northwest, Valparaiso University, Indiana Dunes State Park, and Porter County Fairgrounds. Including the following interstates, Indiana Interstate 80 between mile markers 10 and 16. Indiana Interstate 90 between mile markers 17 and 37. Indiana Interstate 94 between mile markers 16 and 32. Indiana Interstate 65 between mile markers 250 and 261. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. That's good. That's a lot of real estate to cover, but we are at, at least one confirmed tornado uh, across our area. So if you're in Lake Station, well, cool. Uh, I, Ogden Duels, maybe not so much. It's going to move just south of you. Here's a tracker to give you an idea of where it's going. Uh, toward Babcock at 5 o'clock, so in about five or six minutes, you got these are critical moments for you to get your family into uh, the lower lowest level of your home, a very sturdy room, away from windows. If you don't have this a place crazy. like that in your home, a lot of times closets are really good. You want an interior space. If you don't have a place like that, get under some uh, very sturdy furniture, a mattress, whatever you can, because this is the real deal, folks. So all up along I-80, uh, as you get towards Hobart. So you can see all the storms have kind of moved out of here. It's still dark, a little dark over there, there, but I believe that's debris clouds from the storms. But yeah, most of the storms are moved out of here, yeah. It's kind of hairy. Well, weather was kind of hurry, hairy earlier. So... But yeah, this is what it looks like now. After the little storms that came through. No damage or nothing. It's quite nerve nerve-wracking for a while though.